They gave us a clip from episode eight. We're going to take a look at it right now, and then me and Larry are going to review it and see what we think is going to happen in episode eight. Here we go. Just like you left it. If things are out of order, it's just because we cleaned up before you came home. Sorry if everything is not exactly the way you left it. If Maybe you need you anything, should... if you need anything, just let us know. Maybe you should try to get some sleep. I'll be right outside all night. They they're gonna drag it out, Larry. I mean, she she that girl has got some real issues. She's gonna have to work through. She didn't even want her mom to hug her. She's still dealing with that. That is exactly what I mean when I say she busts out the door, sees the sun for the first time in two months, and she's frozen. She is dealing mm. with a heavy plight right now. Where what do you think they're gonna do in episode eight? surrounding this particular storyline they need to, i'll tell you one thing they need, they need to bring kev over there with her because you know one of those things is like she didn't want her mom touching her and but she's but she's always been a protector to kevin you know mm -hmm. she's she's his older sister and so to get to bring it to bring back the person that you are protecting can give her a sense of give her a bit of sense of her power back, a per sense of purpose, and mm -hmm. you know, and I, I mean, the girl's messed up, no doubt. She's messed up. She's gonna be messed up for a while, you know. So I don't know. I, I we'll we'll see what happens with it. It's gonna it, it could be interesting, but the way they've done her so far in this story, I'm not. I don't trust the writers to come up with a good story for me. That's gonna that I'm gonna be engaged by. It just seems like they're trying to. She, they, they make it like in some instances she seems really smart and other times they just make her stupid and that just bothers me it's like she can't be that dumb she's a she's a she's a kid from the south side of chicago she's street smart she's book smart and you're just gonna make her dumb at the at the just most inopportune times i don't know well, well see, I, i'm hoping it i'm hoping it turns out well i'm hoping it turns out well you know but I don't trust the writers to deliver that. I'm I'm interested to see how she interacts with people besides Dre and the mom. Now, a, a lot of people are still thinking that Dre has some ulterior motives. They don't trust Dre. They mentioned Dre as a school counselor, and I guess that's supposed to help. But Keisha was never that fond of Dre in the first place. So I don't know how that is going to actually come into play. I do agree with you that maybe Kevin can be the bond that helps resurrect her back to a place where she feels normal. Because like right. you said, she she did kind of have a protective bone for Kevin. She loves her brother and he's in the house. We know that it's just a matter of how are they going to interact? Would she even want to deal with him? Because right now she's locking herself in the room and don't want to deal with nobody. And I did a trailer review today where she does sit down with Ronnie, which I think is pretty impactful that they let him come in the house to talk to her, which I think they're going to give us an opportunity to just see who she reacts to the most in episode eight. And then we've still got to follow up on some of the other storylines that they've got to try to catch up before the last episode. So I guess we'll Wait. see where it goes. 
maybe Ronnie and her will be the maybe those two will uh maybe those two will be able to heal each other. I mean, he's an alcoholic trying to get clean. Right. And she's suffering all kinds of trauma. Maybe the two of them can uh, you know. Possibly. I mean, we know she's about to be jacked up. We know she's about to run around with with, you know, burn up all of her stuff and then she's going to run around with an oversized hoodie on looking like the Unabomber. So we know that she's sort of going off on the deep end and, and dudes got all up in her head thinking that, you know, that it was her fault that if she wasn't dressed sexy or whatever that she wouldn't have been caught up with all this. So I don't I mean the reality of it is, you know, it could be a good story. Mm-hmm. But they have but but I just don't know if they're maybe the writers just don't want it to be. Maybe they don't have to maybe they just maybe their vision is just so far different from what mine is. I can't enjoy it. So we'll see. <laughs> 